Hello guys, my name is Kune Wuku, once again to another episode of Terraria and today, today it's already night, as I said we are gonna be defeating the twins, however if you think that I'm gonna defeat them during this night, you are gravely mistaken because of a simple reason. I actually wanted to kill them during this night, but there is a simple problem and this is the fact that I got completely cucked by the fact that they are actually the spawn thingy for twins, which is called Mechanical Eye, if I'm correct, is for some reason not crafted from the Soul of Night, but is supposedly crafted from the Soul of Light. So, yeah, let's make the twins. Let's make the twins. Uh, hopefully it is crafted from the Soul of Light. At least right now I've been looking. Yep, there it is. It's for some completely unknown reason just crafted from the Soul of Light. I got absolutely no fucking idea why it is like that. I pretty much, like... So it was like five minutes ago. I tried to record this video. The only problem there was the fact that I actually tried to uh, What did I want to say? I actually wanted to actually grab the item from uh, the soul uh, soul of night the problem as you might know it is not crafted from them But I didn't know about that. So I went all the way over here to get to this demon altar that is somewhere around here this one no here this demon altar. I went all the way over here to craft it, but yeah, it's still I still couldn't craft it. I couldn't figure out what's the problem, so I decided to look on the Wikipedia, not Wikipedia, but the Terraria Wiki, and I found out that it's actually not crafted from the Soul of Darkness. Yeah, I'm way too fucking dumb. So though, today I want to defeat the twins because they are the last mechanical bosses and pretty much the last thing that is keeping me from uh, mining myself some chlorophyte which will allow me to actually fight the, fight the uh, Plantera later on. But I need to prepare a decent arena to actually fight the twins and more precisely I do not need to prepare a decent arena. I already got, uh, I already have that built, but I need to craft some hard lanterns which are gonna increase my life regen and I'll be able to take it down a bit more easily. All right, there we go. We got 12 of them. Where are the hard lanterns? Hopefully they are a bit a, a bit higher because, you know. There we go. I'm going to throw it out. There we go. We got seven hard lanterns, which is pretty damn good. I also got a plentiful of wood and I'm going to grab a couple of the campfires. I need more torches. I can't get all that many torches, which is sad. So let's get over here. Let's get ourselves all of the hard lanterns. Let's get ourselves all of these things. Let's get ourselves this thing, this thing, this thing. We're always like recycling like fucking crazy over here. There we go. This thing, this thing, and this thing. There we go, we got everything. Did I pick up the lantern? No, I did not. Thank God I got back for it. And now I'm gonna fly up to my platform and I'm actually gonna prepare a fully working arena for the twins. So give me a second. There's my base. I'm gonna cut the video right here. Alright, I'm here and I'm also at the end of my arena and right now, do I have enough blocks? Yeah, I should have enough blocks. For some unknown reason, for some annoying as reason, you can place the hard lanterns only on solid blocks. You cannot place it on platforms, which makes it a bit more annoying to use. But on the other hand, it's actually pretty damn broken buffing server too. I do not need to have them everywhere, so I can just put them pretty much at random. But I'm tr gonna try to spread their area of effect buff as much as I can. It's also gonna light up the way a bit. There we go, another one over here. How big are the spaces in between the lanterns where they are not taking effect? Oh, they are taking effect all the freaking way. Oh, there is like a tiny little gap which won't really matter at all. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be able to cover a pretty significant portion of this platform with those lanterns. I'm quite happy about that. Because they're gonna make the fight a lot easier. A ton easier. I also can't wait to get rid of the Mega Shark because 
And I said already a couple of times, I fucking hate the Mega Charger because of the fact that it's so ridiculously broken that it feels like half the hard modes is just like shaped around the Mega Shark. So annoying. It's even more annoying than my freaking voice. At least I freaking hate it. Like, the oral wrench, ranger weapons, range weapons in this game are pretty damn good because you don't need to use like mana and shit like that for it. Right over here, but the Mega Shark in particular is one thing that annoys me the most. All right, two more lanterns. Now I'm gonna get a second round, and I'm gonna get the how's it called? Uh, I'm gonna place down some campfires. All right, like this, like this. That's the last hard lantern that I got. Now let's go over the same path, but now I'm gonna go with the campfires. Thankfully the campfires are somehow intelligent and you can actually place them onto the platforms. So that's one thing that I love about them. Alright. I also can't wait to get any kind of like an Decent servant pet following thingy like you know, I only got this imp staff which is doing absolute jack diddly shit nothing It deals 24 damage and most of the enemies I've already I've already seen a couple of enemies that are able to completely resist the damage That is how ridiculously weak the damage from that Follower Someone someone is like really annoying. I would I would yeah, I would like a decent weapon that I don't have to use because I'm really fucking lazy and my aim is complete art trash. Also, why... Wait. Oh. Oh. There's a reason. Let's create two more. I should be able to cover the entirety of the platform if I'm correct. I had... How many did I have? 10 or 11? That's a question. 11 apparently. Alright, we are gonna have to dig out some food. Thankfully there's a giant ass tree that I can like... I'm not gonna cut it down actually. Well, I, I'm gonna break these pots just because of the fact that I can. But I'm gonna go down. Get myself some food. Mainly get myself this gel. I'm gonna create some torches. There we go. And I'm gonna make the campfire. Last campfire. There we go. We got everything covered. We got all of this platform for ourselves. And we can actually fight the fight the twins. We just need to wait for night because right now it's morning. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna kinda cut the video right over here and I'll get back to I'll be right back, simply said. Alright, and I'm back. Right now, I've already finished up everything. I'm completely freaking ready for taking down the twins. I also looked around my potions. I should have every single kind of a potion. But the only one missing is some kind of a food. Yeah, I actually got the food as well. So, I should be more than enough ready for taking down the twins. Right now, the only thing I truly need to do is pretty much just get there. It's also over the night, if I'm correct. The night should be from 7.30 p.m. So it should already be the night. And right now let's get to the end. Is this the last one? Seems like it. There we go. We summoned it. It is kind of sad that they are ahead of me. Which is not good. They spawned on the other side from what I expected them to be at. Alright. Thank God. I'm dealing way too little damage. I need to focus on two, just one. This is the reason why the platform is so ridiculously broken against them. You can just run in one single direction and just, just hop over these tiny little flames. That's absolutely freaking amazing. Alright. Alright, it's already transforming. We're gonna have the freaking mall. Did these spawn? Don't you dare to fucking tell me that these spawned. No, it didn't despawn. There it is. There it is. It's already dashing. It's already firing freaking flames. 
No, I turned both of them into the second phase already. Oh, you're dealing quite a lot of damage. 50, that's a ton of damage. There we go, one of them is down. Now to the other one. Just rapid firing laser, but it's not gonna help you at all. Alright, that was easier than I expected. Alright. The jungle grows restless, obviously. Obvious freaking Lee, because I just killed the third mechanical boss, which means that right now I'm gonna have to go into the jungle and defeat the plantera. Do I have ever oh mainly I need to do one thing and that's teleport home and actually create a drax or the pickaxe. Because right now I finally am able I already got all three kinds of souls. So I'm gonna be finally able to actually turn them into the drags. All right, let's see. All right, I can either get yeah, there's the drags and there's the pickaxe. What is the difference between them? Almost none. But I'm still hmm. I see most of the people are using pickaxe. I've already shown you the drill. You know what? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a pickaxe axe. Drax attacks. It's kinda funny that I just... I literally created a pickaxe axe and you give me an achievement called Drax attacks. Don't get me wrong, but that makes no fucking sense. Also, I'm gonna already sell this shit that makes... It is absolutely useless. Also this, it is also completely useless for me. And I'm also gonna sell this because I no longer need it. I already got this thing, which is both an axe and a pickaxe in one. That's why that's called pickaxe, the setup. I'm gonna go around the chest because I found out that there is this tiny little button. One of my friends told me that there is this tiny little button which will sort out every single item you got in your inventory into the nearby chest, which is absolutely amazing. And I feel way too fucking dumb for the fact that I didn't know about its existence up until today. Yeah, absolutely fucking amazing. Still though. Uh, do I need health bar for something? I I could make like I could make the Excalibur if I'm correct. Uh, not you. I could make the Excalibur, sharp Excalibur. It is also a material because it's on auto swing. For some reason, I thought it doesn't have an auto swing. It's pretty weak if you think about it. This thing has 71 damage. This thing has 78. Yeah, it deals more damage, but this thing is able to apply it more frequently. It also has hard crit chance. I don't have a feeling like it's pretty damn weak. Yeah, it's really freaking weak. Still though, where's my guide? There's my guide. I need to know what exactly do I need for a true Excalibur. Oh, broken hero sword. For that, I need to wait till the... Uh, till the eclipse. And it's gonna be quite some time. So for now... Let's just store my Excalibur over here as well as I'm going to store this. This, I'm um, uh, where? Whoa. I have full. Yep. This thing is completely and utterly full. So I'm gonna get this thing. What am I gonna get out? I can. I like the bombs. The bombs are not needed at all. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna go into the jungle right now. <clears throat> I'm also gonna sell this. Should I sell the health bars? No, I'm not gonna sell them. I'm gonna sell the titanium drill though. And I'm gonna go into my piggy bank. There we go. All the money over there. And the rest of you are gonna go over here. <coughs> Alright. And now let's go to the jungle. It's gonna be quite difficult to get used to the fact that I already am using the mega shark on a third button. But yeah, I'm probably gonna get used to it rather quickly. I just can't wait for some like a uh, kind of a secondary event where I'm gonna get a different kind of a pet that's gonna be following me. Because the one that I get current, let's complete our horseshit. Seriously, that's already way too freaking bad. Like, it's not bad in early, early mode, early, early game, easy mode. But right now it's already way too fucking bad. Alright, there is a corruption. Oh, there was Piranha, I didn't even see it. Sneaky little shit. Oh, whoa. Angler fish. I should be. You saw right over there that I tried to get. Try to equip the Mega Shark, and instead of that, I just start shining with a freaking star. Like, literally this. 
I don't know what the demon does. Does this thing do anything at all? I do have a feeling like it doesn't. Hmm. So no, I'm gonna have to go underground. I do have a feeling like over here I can already go underground. And I'm way too fucking dumb. Alright, I'm gonna cut the video right here and I'm gonna get back there. I just forgot to do one thing and that is get my spelunker potions. So alright, be right back. I'm gonna get to the jungle and then I'm gonna I'm gonna start recording again. Alright, and I'm back in the jungle and it seems to be lagging. That is not good. I don't know why, but from time to time my Terraria starts to lag. Like, seriously, it's not a problem of my computer, it's literally like a problem of Terraria on my computer. You might see that I'm moving so freaking slowly because of some kind of like a mysterious lag. Hmm, mysterious lag. I'm not gonna turn off the Terraria, I need to find at least one chloroform underground and with that I'm gonna end the video. And then I'm going to restart and I'm gonna start farming the chloroform like freaking crazy. Alright, where is any sort of a chloroform? Is it even the cold? I'm probably saying complete our bullshit and it's not even called chloroform and I'm just calling it chloroform. I do have a feeling like it's called something like that. I d By the way, do you know why am I getting this kind of a lag from time to time in Terraria? Because I do not understand why the fuck am I even getting it, like, seriously. I shouldn't be having these kinds of lags, like, I don't have a... Uh, well, I sure as hell do not have the best computer ever, but I do not have some like crap computer. I'm not working on a freaking calculator. Solar eclipse is happening. Holy fucking shit. That is not good. That is not good. I'm not. I'm. I'm not gonna be able. Oh, there is some chloroform. I'm not gonna be able to show you the. Oh, there we go. Chlorophyte, not chloroform. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make a freaking armor of this shit and I'm gonna make everything around me sleep. That's how I'm going to defeat bosses. I'm just gonna come at them, I'm gonna engulf them in a freaking in a freaking how's it called? And uh shit. Just fucking stop. So though, um I'm gonna end the video right over here because for some unknown reason I don't know why the fuck it is lagging so much. Like seriously. You probably do not think that's lagging, but I can feel that it's so fucking slow. I do not know why this is happening, and it's literally fucking unplayable. I'm not even gonna turn on the freaking Spelunker potion, not to mention the fact that I'm gonna have to get back into my base and defend myself from the solar eclipse, which is gonna be pretty damn difficult for me right now, since I do not have a quip that is nearly strong enough to take it down. Mothron, Mothron, how the fuck do you even pronounce the name? There we go, you hit me, are you happy about that? Please don't start laying egg like fucking crazy. No, he's laying the fucking egg. Kill him, kill him, no. Please fucking die. I need to kill those eggs. Alright, arms dealer was slain. The Mothron is down and he didn't drop anything. Hey you little shit, didn't you want to drop something? Because come on man. Alright, alright. There are some werewolves, or what the fuck it is. So though, I'm not gonna be fighting the entirety of this shit. Oh, I finally got a table. I'm not gonna be fighting the entirety of this shit uh, on camera, because as you might see, I'm lagging like fucking crazy. So I'm gonna turn off the video right over here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give a like. If you did not, please give it a like. But mainly, please subscribe to my channel, because I'm quite close to actually hitting that sweet, sweet 1000 subscriptions. So though, Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that I'll see you next time. Bye.